Genesis 4, 3 through 5. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth and his countenance failed. Cain became envious of his brother because he compared himself with him. Instead of Cain working on himself in order for God to be pleased with him and for him to become who God wants him to be, he was bitter against his brother for nothing until he ended up as a murderer. That was the result of his comparison, the first murder in the history of mankind. The word from heaven today is stop comparing your life to others. When I was growing up in my 20s and early 30s, I saw so many girls who wished to compare themselves to their friends regarding marriage. Just because your friend got married at 21 doesn't mean your life is a disaster. Different people get married at different stages in life. You could find your partner when you're 30 or even 35. Don't compare your life to others. It will steal your joy. People's breakthroughs come in different times. Just because someone's business started flying high when they were 21 doesn't mean your breakthrough won't come when you are 30 or 40 or even 50. Their life and their story is not your life and your story. Focus on God and the things he has given you and the things he has done for you. I am sure if you take the time to elevate the things you take for granted, you will see that God has blessed you also. But the problem with humans is that we focus more on what we don't have than what we do have. Take time today and stop comparing your life to others and be thankful for what God has given you. Discover yourself and work according to your pace. Don't run with other people's timing. We are not all the same. We have different destinies to achieve. And our arrival time to our various achievements may not be the same. Therefore, we must just choose to be ourselves. Say to someone, be yourself and run at your pace. We have a great lesson to learn from Jacob. When he met with his brother Esau, Esau and Jacob had reconciled and Esau wanted Jacob to journey with him. But Jacob would not because their destinies are not the same. Genesis 33, 13 and 14. And he said unto them, my Lord knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are with me. And if men should overdrive them, one day all the flock will die. Let my Lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on softly, according as the cattle that go up before me and the children be able to endure until I come unto my Lord, unto Sarah. Jacob had children and tender flock with him. If he had driven them at Esau's pace, he would have lost them all. Never follow people's dreams, except you have the same purpose or goal to achieve. There are people who compare their marriage with other people's marriages, and they end up in trouble. Your family is unique from other families, and you must not compare your spouse and children with other people's spouses and family. Ephesians 5.22 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord. My emphasis is on your own. Your own is different from other people's own. As much as you should not compare yourself with others, 
Never compare your own children with other children or your spouse with other people's spouses. Your family has its own uniqueness from every other family's. Comparing yourself with others robs you of your confidence and self-esteem and heightens your insecurity. And if I was to tell you the truth, you cannot judge a marriage from what you see in public. Some of the marriages you look at thinking they are perfect behind closed doors, they are tornadoes. This brings me onto social media. What people post is a lie. Social media is not accurate reflections of people's lifestyle and lives. And even relationships. People only post the highlights of their life. And they don't post any of the negative things that happen in their life. So what you are doing is comparing your whole life, the good, the bad, and the ugly, against the best moments of someone else's life. And then you are living with this distorted view of yourself and your life. So many teenagers and even adults struggle with this. All I am saying is don't compare yourself. There are people who are fast learners and there are some that require more time to understand anything. Comparing the two is not good enough. We are not all together good in the same things. Everyone has strengths and everyone has weakness. A person's area of strength may be another's area of weakness and vice versa. An airplane and a car are both transport systems, but their speeds are incomparable. If any car attempts to accelerate at the speed of an airplane, then it must be prepared for a crash. The best thing to do is to be yourself and you will shine the moment you begin to do what you are good at. Live your life and be thankful to God. Finally, Romans 12, three and four says, for I say, though the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, just as the body has different organs functioning together as a system, we all have our uniqueness. It is not possible for the tongue to perform the function of the leg, and the leg cannot claim to be more important than the tongue. Every part of the body is important. Say to yourself, I am special. Before we start, I have to give a clear disclaimer. The comparison I am talking about today is not a healthy comparison that pushes you and helps you to do better. No, that is a whole different type of comparison. And that is a sermon for another day. The comparison I am talking about is the negative type, the type that makes you not thankful to God for the things that God has done for you in your life. The type of comparison that makes you covet after other people's life and belongings. One of the biggest thieves of people's joy is comparison. Today, we are going to consider the danger of comparing yourself with others. The first thing for us to note is that every one of us is unique and we must see ourselves that way. You are uniquely made. One of a kind with all the billions of people that are living now and have lived and died. None of them are you. They don't walk like you, talk like you, think like you. You are unique. God uniquely created you. He purposefully created you. You are not here on earth by chance, 
but you are here because a sovereign God specifically and uniquely created you. There is nothing bad about being encouraged or stirred up by the good things you see in others. But everything is wrong about comparing yourself with others. They are not you, and you are not them. Their life is not yours, and your life is not theirs. The greatest problem people have is that they want to become like others because they fail to discover who God has made them. If every one of us will just celebrate our uniqueness, we will be celebrated like the people we want to become. We are not all made to be the same. You may not be good at all things, but you have uniqueness in you. Everyone is special in the sight of God. God did not create any one of us just to admire every other person without being admired. You cannot become the best of yourself if you keep comparing yourself with people. Comparing yourself with others gives you a feeling of insecurity and evaluation. No matter how much you are trying to achieve great things, comparing yourself with others takes your heart off your goals. Comparing yourself with others breeds envy and jealousy. It makes one make unwise decisions. People who compare themselves with others often end up in bitterness and strife. 